Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 16 and this lesson is called counting up to 20 objects. So back in lesson 13 we counted up to 10 objects and now we're just going to extend your child's range, actually double it. So uh, materials are very simple for this lesson. You'll need some counters and I've chosen quarters for this one and I pre-counted 20 quarters so uh, you will want to have 20 quarters and then my little plastic bucket here that I use as a so-called bank and a pair of dice and we'll get to the dice right at the end of the lesson so I'm going to put those off to the side now. So the first thing you can do is you can have your child place and say in other words he's going to take one quarter out of the bank at a time put it down and say one two, three, and of course he's going to keep doing this all the way up. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can here. All the way up to the 20 quarters you pre-counted here. And after he puts them all out, you you might say to her, well, I want you to check to make sure there's, there, there are uh, 20 quarters there. And of course, if she didn't get mixed up, she will have said 20 as she placed down the last quarter. So now she can uh, touch and count to double check. One, two, three, four, and so on, up to 20. So uh, you can show her that that's a great way to check your accuracy to make sure um, you count it correctly. And of course, the last one you touch, as we said in lesson 13, the last one you touch tells you how many you have all together. And now we're going to make a big shift so you can have your child count, uh, tell your child to count the first 10 quarters and stop there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now, tell your child that past 10, you want to take those quarters and move them all underneath in another line. And your child is probably thinking, well, what's this all about? Here, let me move these over to get them in the middle, middle of the camera. Your child's thinking, well, what is this all about? Well, you can... Uh, tell him or her at this point that uh, as you get into larger numbers sometimes when you're counting it's you forget where you are in the count and by doing it this way you'll be able to go back and very quickly get back on the right count again and there's other reasons but uh, I won't go into them right now that that should be uh, good enough for him and at this point you can remind your child that uh, you have two rows of quarters there are ten in this row and 10 in this row and uh, if if, if uh, he looks a little shaky on that have them have him count them all out uh, again and of course uh, you're working left to right and top to bottom so like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and just like as you would be reading you come down to the next line or row 
and continue your count. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, how about uh, let's work with some numbers that are a little less than 20. Let's say you take um, uh, this many away and you can have him count again. And of course, he's going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And at this point, you could tell him or her, there's a quicker way you can do this. So we know that there are 10 in this first line, correct? And she should say, yes. So you can suggest to her, why not just count on from 10? So since you already know there are 10, you don't have to count these. That's 10. The next one is 11, 12, 13, 14. And of course, we call that counting on. And that's a great strategy for counting. And it's a strategy that he or she will need uh, when they start getting many rows of things here and, uh, and deducing the, the correct number. So um, let me do another one for you here. Let's put some back once again. You can ask your child, well, how many quarters are there now? And hopefully she won't <laughs> count all of them starting here. She will say, well, I know there's 10 in the first row, so I'm just going to count on from 10 down in the second row. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's a great counting strategy. And... Um, uh, I'm not going to get into what it looks like when we get more rows. That'll be a lesson coming up. So that will suffice for now. So that's uh, what I call counting on from 10. And let me make a, a few more reminders here. Uh, of course, you're always going left to right, top to bottom, like this, just like the child would be reading. Um, and of course, uh, you touch, uh, you ha always have the child touch and say, one, two, three, or place and say, if, she's, if uh, she's taking them out of the bank like this. And well, actually, I'd have to start from one, but you know what I mean. Um, and once again, I'll remind you that the last number they say tells how many. So make sure um, he or she understands that. OK, I'm going to remove these from the table here, scoop them up into the bank, and we'll move on to the dice. And you remember we worked with one die before, and now we're, we're working with two, so you can kind of go back and remember some of the things we did with one die. So you can have her roll the die. I'm going to move them together here. And now she has to count all of the dots on two die, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do another one. So she has to jump from one die to another and continue counting. Ooh, there's a big one there. And this will be a good one to use as an example. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But at this point, uh, if she's been working uh, with one die for a while, she may know the arrays. She, she may know that that array is, a, is six and that array is five. Well, you can tell her a little trick. And once again, it's a counting on trick. And you could say, well, you know that's six, right? So just count on from six and count the dots on this one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there you have it again, another strategy um, that your child can use uh, as, as he becomes a better counter. Um, of course, you know, your, your child may be frustrated and say, well, I know this is six and this is five, but how could I quickly know what they all are together? And you'll just have to say, well, uh, pretty soon we're going to be doing something called addition where we'll be adding these numbers together. And he can look forward to that and becoming yet more adept at uh, counting things. So uh, that's uh, reading a pair of dice. And of course, you know, there's so many games that are played with dice that it's a great skill to have that he can 
uh, he or she can read these quickly and accurately. And finally, uh, I have just maybe two more things to mention here. Uh, remember lesson 13 when we worked with the mystery box and sensory counts. Well, go back and review those because now you can do those two activities with up to 20 objects. So uh, you can revisit those uh, with more objects. Once again, uh, uh, those activities were described in lesson 13. And finally, teen ordinal numbers. Uh, you remember we also did the ordinal nu numbers uh, in lesson, I believe it was lesson 13. Um, so you can go back and, and review that. And uh, right now, uh, let's just focus on the teen ordinal numbers. So uh, as you know, we've made it up to, in that lesson, up to uh, ninth. Well, all of the teen ordinal numbers are regular. In other words, there's no exceptions like we encountered in just the teen numbers. So you have 10, everything has a th on the end. 10th, 11th, 12th, and that keeps going right up to 19th. So um, you can teach your child the ordinal numbers, have her uh, recite those back to you to make sure she understands them. And of course, as I just mentioned, you can go back and, uh, and do the activities you did with ordinal n numbers in uh, video lesson 13, except now you can extend uh, that all the way to 19th. And that's lesson 16, counting up to 20 objects.